All right, now we can attach this guy to this. And uh, there's no, there's not really an easy way to hold this, or at least I'm not going to put in the effort to find an easy way to hold this. I think it'll be good enough if I just hold it like this. This thing is not uh, super finicky about where it goes. That's pretty good. Tack it on the other side. Let's see, so we'll go over like that. And then, that actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna make the other one. So I'm checking to see if when it's like that, if th this guy is pretty much in the middle. And it looks like more or less. It's not perfect, but uh, I think it'll get the job done. All right, I'm gonna finish welding this on. So it's looking like it's gonna work pretty well. Um, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the other one of these off camera. It's exactly the same process. So, I'll see you guys when that's done. Check this out. First time, just finished getting it off the vise. That is, like, perfect. I can't even believe that happened. That's, like, perfect. Alrighty. So I made the other side. Here's what it looks like. You still need to do the handles, but this is how it's pretty much going to work. And then pick it up like that. And this is, I mean, this is really secure. This isn't going anywhere. And the beauty of this design is that um, you, you're not squeezing it, okay? Like, I'm picking this up. I don't have to squeeze the crucible and that doesn't put any strain you're just cradling it in the tongs so next we're just gonna I just have some pipe and we're just gonna weld this pipe onto that side for the handles um, <coughs> and then we should be good to go alrighty so the only thing we have left to do is to weld on these uh, handles I just got this steel tubing. Uh, it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick, I think. Uh, maybe more. Maybe like uh, three thirty seconds. Uh, so I think it's rigid enough. So I just got this clamped up in the vise. Then I have the uh, actual tubing clamped onto the tongs here. So let's get the welding. Gotta flip it around here. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is, um, I don't want this thing to be able to fly open, so I'm just gonna put a chain that connects the two sides so it can only open so much. So I'm just gonna weld this thing. Okay, so what I did was just go to the furnace, see what the maximum size should be when opening, and then just cut my chain to the, that length and mark the spot. So now I got it clamped. I'm just gonna tack this on. Okay, so now you can see, you can hold it by the chain. If we hold one side, it only opens so much. And you can see how this works. Very effortless. Takes no effort. Just a little close up. And actually, the beauty about what I did with uh, cutting that in two 
making it 90 degrees is that it's, it will stop where it needs to because you can see at the joint it just goes as far as it can go so that means uh, I'll never be able to squeeze the crucible and put too much force on it because it will automatically stop when it's closed and it's it's pretty good if you if I were to have twisted the, the metal instead of doing this I would have needed to put a little extension here with a bolt through and to set my stop so I don't squeeze the crucible too much so actually this turned out really well this is a little demonstration picking it out of the furnace just like that pretty effortless and you see I can't open it all the way or I can't open it enough to where this will really scrape against the corners because I set the chain so that I can't open it that much that's it for this video <laughs> we're just about ready to do some iron casting um, it'll probably be in the next video so see you guys later thanks for watching